All righty, everybody. Thank you for joining us for today's AgCom webinar. Uh, today we have Deb Tanner, one of our graphic uh, designers here in AgCom. She's going to talk about PowerPoint pizzazz. Uh, and can everybody hear me okay? I had um, forgot to turn on the mic, so now everything should be good. And just want to encourage you, if you do have questions, you can put them um, in the chat. And I'll be monitoring those questions as uh, Deb is presenting today. Um, I did put a few links at the beginning of the chat uh, that she'll be referencing, including some PowerPoint templates, and as well as this presentation, and also a link to all of our other AgCom webinars. We've done quite a few of them on various topics, so please be sure and check them out. All right, with that, I will uh, have Deb take over. Thanks, Sonia. Okay, I think we'll, we're will ready to go. Thank you, Sonia, for that nice in introduction. Uh, once again, this is Deb Tanner. I'm a graphic designer in AgCom, and welcome to PowerPoint Pizzazz. Um, I have one disclaimer to make. Some of the examples that I use in this presentation um, are slides that we have seen from other people, and I we're not <laughs> they're not being used. As to embarrass anybody, our intent is just to use them for educational purposes. So if you see something that you recognize, um, I appreciate you humoring me <laughs> in this presentation. So, And be sure to ask questions. Sonia will be monitoring for me. And um, so let's get started. All right. Let's see if we can uh, make my presentation go here. Now it's got me on there. <laughs> Am I supposed to be sharing this? What are we doing? This means start my video bit. Oh, okay. Way. So just continue with my. Yep. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm very technologically inept here, so so I've got Sonia to help me out. So, uh, here's some of the topics that we're going to touch on today. Um, you know, PowerPoint and other presentation software has really come a long way from the early day of slides and we've got tools now that allow us to make really nice pages with color, animation, charts and graphs, video, and all of that. And it can all be accomplished sitting at your desk or even on the way to your meeting. So today I want to take you on a visual journey of do's and don'ts that will help you produce help you to improve your visual design. So why do we even bother to use visuals? You know they take a lot of time if anybody's ever done those. Uh, you know, some of the, the main reasons are that you can be more persuasive when you've got visuals to be used. You can cover more material in less time. Um, the retention and comprehension of the material is, is higher. And more importantly, your presentation might be a little, a little more interesting. And studies have shown that the human brain processes images faster than it processes text. So by using visual aids, you can improve learning by up to 400%. And so to me, that's a pretty good reason to invest the time in, in using visuals. And you know, even Albert Einstein enjoyed the power of a visual. And I know this wasn't his intent when he made this quote, but I thought it was rather appropriate. So let's talk in general a little bit about design and what design is when it comes to presentation. Really all design is, is organizing your information effectively. So what we're going to do today is to create a visual plan so that will help you achieve your desired goal. So how do we create a visual plan? Where do you start? Well, we always recommend people start at the end. Decide how you're going to be presenting the material. Is it going to be an on-screen show? Are you going to be projecting your materials? Maybe you're using PowerPoint to make a, a handout or even a poster. 
And we always recommend that you start at that final format because it saves time. If you start by using a format that, like say you're using the on-screen show, and in the end you want it to be a poster, when you try to resize that, it takes a lot more time to do the resizing than if you had started with that in the first place. So the different formats in PowerPoint, you can, you can find them under the page setup. You know, the list here has a few different ones. Um, and really the biggest difference between them is just the height to width ratio. So if you know what you're going to be doing, this is where you start. And most of the templates that you'll find in PowerPoint default to the on-screen show. So if that's going to be your medium for presenting, you're good to go. Otherwise, just go into your design tab to your page setup and make your selection for something else. So the first thing that we do is to create a master style. Um, why would you want to do this? Uh, the biggest thing is it saves you time. You can um, provide a consistent look throughout your presentation whether that's the colors that you choose, the fonts that you choose, the sizes, um, even some of your graphic styles. You can customize to your needs. You can also add logos and other materials or other uh, information that you want to appear on every slide. So templates are a great way to create that master style. And the thing to remember when you're, when you're doing PowerPoint is that the consistency in your design is really what adds to the power and the pizzazz of your presentation. 